Mary leaving behind the Expedition 14 crew, Sonny Williams, Mike Lopez Alegria, and Mikhail Turin. As the crew passes through the Destiny Laboratory's pressurized mating adapter, the docking port to which Discovery currently is docked. Uh, we copy. You will have a go to power up the primary drivers on time, and we can give you a go for undocking now. Go for undocking. Thank you. Houston, copy physical separation. from the crew of Discovery. We wish you smooth sailing. Thank you for the hospitality and the hard work, and we hope you enjoy the new electrical system on board station. From Space Shuttle Discovery, the International Space Station, at a distance of 420 feet, flying high above the uh, South Pacific, tracking northeasterly. And the fly around uh, underway, pilot Bill Ophaline flying uh, Discovery. Sequence uh, putting those arrays back into auto track uh, underway as the shuttle is now at a safe distance uh, from the complex. 460 feet in front of and above the International Space Station. Four hundred and ninety feet from the International Space Station as the uh, two spacecraft uh, approach the equator from the southwest. And Discovery is now passing directly overhead the International Space Station at a distance of six hundred feet. The International Space Station. Uh, with its new pair of solar arrays uh, delivered on the last shuttle flight tracking the sun. A new uh, P-5 truss spacer out on the end of the truss brings the truss length of the station to 191 feet from one end of the truss to the, to the other. And uh, very clearly the uh, solar array atop the station, the P-6 pair of solar arrays one uh, fully deployed and one fully retracted, which is obvious good news as that array uh, is now safe in its solar array blanket box. The other half of that uh, solar array pair will be retracted on the next shuttle flight of Atlantis. That uh, visit scheduled for mid-March of 2007.
and a view of Discovery from the International Space Station as it uh, continues its half-lap fly around at a distance of 610 feet directly above the International Space Station.